All right, right now we'll demonstrate how to do a high dribble. A high dribble is used in basketball sometimes where most of the time you want to try to dribble low, but it's also good to practice dribbling high because dribbling higher is more difficult than dribbling lower. So if you can maintain accuracy as far as being a ball handler, dribbling the ball high, when you dribble lower, it makes it much easier. One of the first things and one of the most important things you always want to remember about handling the basketball is fingertip control. So right now what I'll do is I'll go first before I have Sammy go and I'll take 10 dribbles high with my right hand, okay? A lot of times when I practice and I work out players, I always like to do things with my eyes closed because now I know in a game situation where my eyes are open and I can see the whole court, I'm used to doing it with my eyes closed and it makes it easier. So right now, I'll go first, dribbling the ball high with my eyes closed and I'm maintaining a good balance just like this. All right, so that's one of the things that I like to do a lot, and now I have Sammy demonstrate. Sammy will do it with his eyes closed. Go ahead, Sammy, 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And now I'll go again, and now we wanna be able to do it with our left hand. My eyes are closed. I'm standing upright, and I wanna have the ball come up to my shoulder length. One, two, three. And again, we wanna have force and accuracy, and now Sammy will show you. Go ahead, Sammy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Now, it's important to remember when you practice this, it does not always have to be perfect. Sometimes you'll lose the ball, but the most important thing is to remember that the more you work at it, the better you'll get. That's how you dribble a basketball high.